What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a mobility routine to help increase your squat depth so that way you can go quote unquote ass to grass for your squats and get full range of motion. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you do, make sure to like, subscribe and comment. So first things first, I have my stopwatch here just so that way I can time everything. The whole purpose of this video is to just teach you guys that you can do a full warm up and help with your depth of squats with just a six minute routine. These are all movements that are my go-to movements for any lower body day just to help myself get warmed up. So it's going to be around 30 seconds to a minute for each thing that we're doing. So as we go along, I'll let you guys know. So to start off, we're gonna do 30 seconds of just swinging our front leg back and forth, just opening our hips. So this one is good because it just is a warm up movement. Usually I would do like a treadmill warm up for like, or cycling for like five to 10 minutes, just to kind of get everything warm and prepped and ready to go. And then here we're just loosely swinging the leg. So it doesn't have to be pinned straight at all. There can be a soft knee bend and just making sure as we kick backwards, we're not opening that hip outwards. We're staying nice and square and same thing for the front. And this bottom leg is gonna stay straight. 30 seconds, we're gonna switch our sides. So that way you guys can see. My posture is also staying upright. I'm not slouched through my low back. My core is nice and tight as that leg swings back and forth. If you do notice one leg is just slightly less flexible than the other leg, that's also completely normal. My right leg is just a little bit more mobile than my left leg. And of course my timer's behind me. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Next we're gonna do a alternating straddle to squat. You guys have seen me this, do, sorry, do this a ton. So aiming for a handspin on the ground, going into like a deep squat and then going up into a nice straddle, stretching out those hamstrings and trying to compress yourself as close to your legs as possible. And then going back down. Again, 30 seconds here. Each time we come up, we wanna make sure that we're really stretching into those hamstrings, getting a little bit closer to our legs. Last three, two, and one. On our last one, we're gonna sit into a deep squat. Now, depending on your mobility, you can have your feet slightly pointed out in order to get nice and deep into your squat and keep your chest up high. Ideally, I would like to see our feet pointed forwards for this one. And something I like to do is sometimes push my elbows out with, or sorry, push my knees out with my elbows and stay nice and tall. And this allows me to have a nice straight back while I'm sitting into that deep squat. From here, we're gonna go into some ankle mobility as well, because that's also super important. So for the squat, usually the big determining factors are gonna be your hips and your ankles. So we're just gonna pedal our feet back and forth. This leg, we're aiming to get that back heel down and that leg straight. So you're gonna feel a stretch all the way in the back of your leg and just pedaling back and forth between the two of them. Really pushing back into the stretch aiming to get that heel down. After those, we're gonna go into one of my favorites, which is a 90-90. So again, 30 seconds here. Hips are square, shoulders are square, turning and placing. As we do this, if you do need to put your hands behind you, you can, just for assistance. And again, aiming to have those shoulders square, square, and square and making sure those feet and heels aren't moving. So we're not shifting our legs in and out to help compensate for this movement. We'll do one more each side. And there we go. Next, you're gonna to wanna to grab onto a sturdy surface. So your squat rack's a great place to start. We're gonna hold on, anchor ourselves. And again, this is just something to get our squat form nice and low. So starting up high, we're gonna hinge our hips backwards Walk our hands down. Again, my chest is proud and I'm getting nice and low. So my low back isn't caving in or curved. We're keeping it nice and upright and our feet are flat. So as soon as you start to feel your heels come up, that's your threshold and you'd wanna come up a little bit higher. So you might start out more here, but ideally we're trying to get that bum nice and low. We have 10 more seconds, hold. If this one becomes too easy, you can always grab like a dumbbell or a weight and same thing, just sit in that low position. We have three, two, and one. Next one that I like to do also is just some hip cars. So similar to the leg swinging, this one now we're gonna be opening up that hip joint. So coming up nice in front, out to the side, and then behind you. So this one you wanna spend around 15 seconds each direction. 
making sure that our bottom leg and this hip is staying nice and square so we're not turning with the leg. Everything stays nice and tight. Then we're gonna reverse it and go through. Making sure to hit each of those points. So I'm externally rotated and then I'm bringing it out in front. Then we're gonna switch sides. down and up. And then we're going to go the other way. Again, making sure on this one that we're keeping the bottom leg straight and planted and we're not swaying back and forth too much. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. And for the last 30 seconds of the six minute warm up, you're just gonna do some body weight squats. I like to always look at myself in the mirror so that way I can see my form, nice and controlled, and coming back up. This is just a good way to warm up your squats in general. Just do a nice body weight form and feel. Also, as you're doing these and you feel any type of like pulling or pain, you can kind of get a sense of how your squats are gonna go and what areas you might also need to focus on other than just getting that depth. So if my ankles are feeling more stiff, I might go back and do more of an ankle warm up. If my hips still feel like they need a little bit more attention, I'll go back and add some more of that in. And then we'll do one more. And that is it. So that is it for today's stretching routine. It's a quick six minute routine that you can literally do for any of your leg days, but in particular, this is gonna help increase your squat depth form. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And in terms of what I'm wearing today, it's one of my favorite fits by Vanquish. We're wearing the oversized men's washed out sweats. These are so comfortable. I've literally been living in them since I got them. And then we're also wearing the Vanquish Enhanced 2.0 sports bra. This I really like, especially on back days, because as you can tell, it's nice and open. It's strappy and overall for my upper body days I'm not really like bouncing around or jumping around a lot so this is definitely more of an upper body day or just like an everyday sports bra not something that I'm flipping in but it is one of my favorites just as a staple for a back day because I love the way it looks on those lat pull downs but hopefully you guys enjoyed this stretching routine if you do it give it a try and also tag me in your story so I can see how it goes and hopefully your squat depth form you see some differences in but I'll see you guys next time like subscribe and comment bye